Okay, here we go. So on each image now, you'll have an option on the poll to choose whether you got it correct or whether you got it incorrect. And I'll give a little bit of information about the pieces as we go along. So both of the pieces that I put at the beginning of the intro on the video, both of them are ivory. And what I want you to notice on them are the lines. So when you're looking at a piece of ivory, um, you could look at it from two different angles. And from one angle, it will have parallel lines. And sort of on the side at another angle, you might see a crosshatch pattern. And this is called, I'm going to mispronounce this probably, um, Schreger lines, S-C-H-R-E. G-E-R Schreger lines. So those pieces are both ivory because you can see the really distinct Schreger line. And one other thing I want to point out about those parallel lines on pieces of ivory is that they may not appear extremely symmetrical and exact. And this is going to come into play with some of the other pieces that we're going to see. So this first one is bone, and it's a really strong representation. As you can see on the back, those lines that are small, short, not parallel, not continuous, and occasionally will be kind of darker in color. Um, this is definitely a piece of bone, and what those lines are called is the Haversian system. Again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that, but the Haversian system has to do with bones and, and how the bones are structured. So mark your answer in the poll. Did you get this one correct or did you get it incorrect? Next up, we have this box. Did you choose bone, ivory, or celluloid? Well, this one is celluloid, and I chose this one on purpose because it has parallel lines. Not all pieces of celluloid have those parallel lines. They, are, they try to use celluloid in certain circumstances to mimic that ivory look, and they even go so far as to sometimes put those lines in it. But as you can see on this celluloid box, those parallel lines are pretty exact, so that's a dead giveaway that they are celluloid. Okay, mark your answer in the pop-up poll so we see how you did. Did you get it right? Was it correct or incorrect? This one's a bit tricky. So this is something called scrimshaw. Scrimshaw is the name given to scroll works or engravings or carvings done on bone or ivory, usually on like walrus tooth or tusks, um, things of that nature. So it just is a, a matter of finding out, is this a piece of bone or is it a piece of ivory? I'm marking this one as ivory because I am almost certain that this is a piece of tusk that has been carved from Probably a walrus. Okay, take a second and mark that poll question. Let me know if you got it correct or incorrect. All right, so this necklace is bone. Once again, you can see those lines that are pitted or kind of pocked that are not parallel. Um, so this is a dead giveaway that this piece is bone. Take a second, mark your answer, and we will move on to the next one. How'd you do on this one? Do you see those parallel lines? They're not exactly parallel, but they're all running lengthwise down the piece. This is a piece of ivory. Take a second, mark your answer, and we will check the results. Thank you so much for playing, you guys. Leave a comment down in the comment section and let us know how you did on this video. So did you get one out of five, five out of five? And if I got any information incorrect, please let me know. Or if I mispronounce something, I want to make sure we're getting it 100% right. So everyone makes mistakes, but I'm pretty sure I got my information correct on this one. So thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed this so we can make more videos like this in the future. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.